In the previous video, we showed you how to break a real estate project down to several independent recognition tasks. Now let's introduce the concept of recognition flows, which lets us chain these tasks together in a sequence to achieve higher complexity. Imagine this flow as a tree that each image will travel through. We start with a task that separates the interior photos from the exterior ones. Processing of an image by each task in the flow generates one field in the output JSON data. We can name the field that will contain the output from this task. From images of the apartment's interior, we want the image to be processed by three different tasks. What type of room it is, if the room is furnished or not, and if the room contains various features like a balcony or fireplace. Now we have a list of three tasks that will process the image simultaneously. If we later decide that room type is only important if the room is furnished, we can set this up by using another branch selector. We can decide to define the part of the recognition tree for the exterior photos as a separate flow and then just call this flow as a single action. To access this separate flow, simply click its icon. This flow contains one branch selector for a state type and some tasks in each of the cases. In some cases, you might want one image to be processed by more than one branch of a branch selector. If you need this feature, you can turn it on in the settings dialog. This is also where you can configure the format of the JSON output. Another type of flow actions is assignment of a specific label. For instance, we can add a note priority clients to any property that is recognized as a house. Let's test our flow and have a look at the output. We can see that the system has recognized that this image is an interior photo of a furnished room with a balcony, most likely a bedroom. Flows are a very powerful part of the system. You can read more about them in our blog and documentation. Thanks for watching.